How do I feel about the movies releasing in 2024? What's happening guys back at you with another video so in this video i'm going to be doing a new tier list and basically it's going to be ranking my excitement for all the upcoming blockbuster movies of 2024 so like i'm saying this is going to be ranking video but in a way of a tier list so the different tiers we have is let's go intrigued i guess i'll watch not too excited and probably skip so those are the different tiers in the tier list and basically I'm going to be going through these blockbuster movies of 2024 and just putting them in each different tiers. So we're doing this in random order. Uh, first up is going to be Mufasa, The Lion King. This is basically a new live action uh, Disney movie of basically telling a prequel to The Lion King. Um, so this, we're getting a new story about Mufasa and how he becomes Lion King or get, uh, The Lion King, I guess. So... I really did not like the live action remake of The Lion King from a couple years ago. I really did not enjoy it or like it. And I feel like this one's going to be the same. You know, they're going to get the same issues with this one as the uh, other live action Lion King one. The only thing that kind of, I'm not going to say intrigues me, but the only thing that I'm like maybe could get into is that it's a brand new story, just a prequel story about Mufasa. So maybe they could do something there. But other than that, I'm not very excited for this one. So this one definitely goes into the not too excited tier. Next up is going to be Argyle. This is the new Matthew Vaughn directed movie. This one's actually coming out pretty soon. And honestly, I'm going to put this one into the intrigue tier. I like Matthew Vaughn movies. I like what he did with the Kingsman movies, uh, what he did with the Kick-Ass movies. And this one does definitely have a well-rounded out cast. So I'm intrigued. I'm definitely interested in checking this one out. Next up, we got Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Now, I'm not the biggest Ghostbusters fan. I do watch the movies. I think they're good. Uh, I still need to watch the other Ghostbusters that came out, Ghostbusters Afterlife. But this is the sequel to that. And honestly, I think I'm going to put this one in the, I guess I'll watch tier. Uh, I think I'll check it out. I still need, like I said, I still need to check out Ghostbusters Afterlife, which I do plan to check out at least before or at least around sometime this one comes out. But at least sometime this year, I will at least watch, try to, or at least try to watch both of them this year. Next up, we got Deadpool 3. And of course, this one's going to go into the Let's Go tier. This one is probably my most anticipated movie of 2024. I cannot wait to check this movie out once it hits theaters. You know, we got Deadpool returning, Ryan Reynolds. We got Wolverine, Hugh Jackman returning uh it's shaping up to be a great movie i i can't wait for this movie i'm so excited for it we got madam webb and i'm gonna be honest about the uh be honest with y'all about this movie um honestly this one is definitely gonna have to go into the not too excited tier uh i, I would almost put it into the i guess i watched here i'm going to watch this movie just because it's marvel but this is a Sony Marvel movie, and this is definitely giving me the vibes of Morbius, where I'm not I'm not excited about this movie. I don't know if this movie is going to be any good or anything like that. Um, just because it's a Marvel movie, that's the reason why I'm going to watch this. But honestly, the trailer doesn't get me hype. It doesn't get me excited or anything like that. Just the whole premise of this movie. I'm not really sure what's going to go on in this movie. I'm not excited about it. But I'll still at least check it out. And getting into our other Sony Marvel movie. Man, can you believe we have three Sony movies? Uh, Sony Marvel movies coming out this year? That's crazy. But getting into this next one, we got Craven the Hunter. And this one is probably going to go into the, I guess, I'll watch tier. Uh, this one, I'm not as excited for either. Um, I'm I'm curious about it, but I'm not too excited about this. Uh, we got, got this movie being rated R. That's kind of intriguing a little bit but other than that uh, i'm not super excited about this movie we'll see how aaron taylor johnson does i do like aaron taylor johnson so we'll see how it does in a row and the last sony marvel movie venom 3 coming out sometime in the fall i think uh this one has to probably go into the i guess uh i guess i watched here um the other two venom movies like the first one you know it's just fun dumb fun uh just basically dumb fun and the second one is just all right you know along the lines of the first one so, I'm not super excited about the Venom 3, but it's a movie I'll watch at least. And we'll see how it goes with this one. Godzilla Kong New Empire. This one is definitely going to be in the Let's Go tier. Uh, I'm super excited about this one. Cannot wait for it. Uh, I like the Godzilla Kong movies. You know, um, they're 
fun. You get to see some kaiju action going on and, you know, just have a lot of fun with these movies. So this is definitely going to be in the Let's Go tier. So we got a new Karate Kid movie coming out this year in the late late 2024, I believe. I think they said December. But um, honestly, um, this one is going to have to go into the intrigued tier only because I just don't know what this movie is about. I can't get excited for something I don't know too much about. I, all we know is that Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan are coming back together in this movie. Um, so I don't know. Other than that, we don't know any story plot or anything going on with it. So I can't get excited for something I don't know about. But other than that, it's just going to have to go into the intrigued tier. We got Joker, Foley, I do. And with this one, I'm going to have to put it into the intrigued tier. This one almost reaches the let's go tier. But, uh, I mean, the first movie was definitely good. I really enjoyed the first movie. I really liked it. But I was kind of in a camp where we didn't, I feel like we didn't really need a sequel to the original movie. Because the original movie was just so good. I felt like it didn't really need a sequel. But nonetheless, <laughs> we're getting a sequel. And I'm still excited for this sequel. But I'm just wondering how they're going to do it and all that. Um, you know, we had the added addition of Lady Gaga playing Harley Quinn. And, of course, Joaquin Phoenix returning as Joker. And there's rumors going around how this this one might be a musical. I don't know if that's true or not. But we'll see if it actually is or not. But, of course, this one is a movie I'm going to be checking out still. I'm still going to watch this. I am excited for it. But I can't put, put it fully into the Let's Go tier. So this one does go into the Intrigued tier. We got Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, and this one I'm definitely excited for. Uh, we got some of the same creative team coming back to do this one. This one's supposed to be set like two or three hundred years after the original trilogy. Original trilogy was really good, probably one of the greatest trilogies. Really enjoyed that original trilogy and re enjoyed those movies. So I'm excited about this one. I'm actually looking forward to this one. So with this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and put it into the Let's Go tier. I'm honestly excited for this one this was one i'm going to be checking out and we got a new despicable me movie coming out this year with despicable me 4 and i seen the first one i might have seen the second one i don't think i've seen the third one but uh i mean they're all right movies they're not really made for me i don't really enjoy them as much as some other people uh but we got the fourth one coming out and this one is probably going to go into the pro probably skipped here honestly i don't think i don't, I don't see, really see myself watching this one or I don't really have an interest in checking it out. So that's why it's going to that one. And we have a new Kung Fu Panda movie coming out this year with Kung Fu Panda 4. And I remember checking out the first one whenever it first came out. I think I've seen the second one. I can't remember if I checked out the third one or not though. But uh, with this fourth installment, honestly, I'm kind of curious about it. I might, I'm th actually thinking about rewatching the uh, series of movies and seeing if they still hold up or see if I still like them or not. But with this one, it's probably going to go into the I guess I'll watch tier. Uh, I, I'm thinking about checking this one out, at least and at least checking out, re-watching the other movies in the series and just checking them all out again. And we got a sequel to Beetlejuice. After 30-something years, we finally get a sequel. And I really love that original movie. I've been watching it ever since I was a kid. Uh, one of my favorites. I really enjoyed it. So to begin the sequel after all these years later, I'm definitely interested and definitely excited about it. This one's probably going to have to go into the Let's Go tier. Um, we're getting the return of Michael Keane as Beetlejuice. Uh, Winona Ryder's coming back. And also, Jenny Ortega's coming out of the movie. So, I'm definitely curious and excited about this movie. So, we're getting a John Wick spinoff this year with Ballerina. This one's going to be starring Ana de Armas. And this one I'm going to have to put into the Intrigued tier. Just because it's set in the world of John Wick. And I'm intrigued by it and seeing what's going to be able to do. Uh, we have a great actress with Anna de Armas coming out in here. Uh, it could be some great action if they're able to do some of the uh, some of the action, just like John Wick. It could be definitely interesting. But uh, I'm just interested in seeing what they're going to do with this movie, honestly. So it it goes into the intrigued tier. And we got a movie coming out called The Fall Guy. This one's starring Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. And I saw the trailer for this one whenever I went to check out a movie in the theaters. And honestly, I was intrigued by the, the, the trailer. Honestly, the trailer kind of uh, intrigued me on what this movie could be. Um, it's directed by David Leach, so that's pretty good, too. He did he did Bullet Train and Deadpool. And so there could be some great action going off the trailer. It looked like it could be some kind of good action going on. But, you know, you got Ryan Gosling. You got the star power of Ryan Gosling. And honestly, that intrigues me on the movie and what the trailer just showed me. Uh, I'm a little curious and intrigued. So this one does go into the intrigued tier. 
And we got another Quiet Place movie coming out this year with A Quiet Place Day 1. This is supposed to be like a sort of prequel where basically it's the first day that the invasion comes. And I actually checked out the first two uh, Quiet Place movies. It was either last year or a year before. Finally checked them out for the first time. And honestly, they were pretty good. I actually did like them. So I'm definitely intrigued by this one, seeing what it's going to be able to do. Uh, this one's going to be starring Joseph Quinn and Lupita Nyong'o. And basically just giving us uh, giving us the first day of the whole invasion of how it happened and all that. So I'm definitely intrigued by this one. This one is definitely going to go into the intrigued tier. And we got Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Uh, this is supposed to be, uh, I guess, a prequel of a uh, young Furiosa. Uh, we got Anya Taylor-Joy coming out in this movie, Chris Hemsworth. I saw little clips of the trailer. Uh, but to be honest, this is probably a hot take, but honestly, I didn't really like the Mad Max Fury Road movie. Honestly, it was hard for me to even get to get through watching it. I didn't even get to finish it, honestly. I couldn't even get through watching it and finish watching it. Uh, honestly, I didn't really like it or anything like that. So when it comes to this one, I'm not really interested in checking it out. So this one's probably going to have to go into the probably skip tier. And we got part two to Dune coming out this year. Dune part two coming out. Um, so I haven't seen the first Dune. I really haven't. I know that's probably a shocker to say that I haven't seen the first Dune movie. I do plan on checking out the first Dune movie, at least before this one comes out or at least watch it sometime this year um honestly this one when it comes to this one i don't think i'm really going to check it out in theaters unless somehow i just love the first dune movie after checking it out um like i said i do plan on watching the first dune movie and at least checking that one out and giving it a chance but um honestly i'm not really excited about this one or really interested well i don't know if i'll say i'm not interested just yet i gotta check out that first movie and see how it goes but when it comes to this one, I'm going to probably have to put it into the not too excited tier. Uh, I might eventually watch it this year. Or at least watch the first part and then watch this one too if I like the first part. But uh, I'm not. I'm just not excited about this movie to be honest. But I mean that could change after I watch the first part and then watch this one. Maybe it'll change. <laughs> but as of right now, it has to go into the not too excited tier. And we got the sequel to Inside Out coming out with Inside Out 2. And with this one, um, you know, with the newest Pixar movie and all that, uh, this one is probably going to have to go into the, I guess I'll watch tier. When it comes to that first Inside Out movie, I have seen it, and it's good. Like, it's a good movie. I don't think it's bad by any means. But honestly, I think I've only seen it the one time. I never really went back to go watch it again or had the urge to watch it again. I'll, I'll probably check it out again just to make sure it still holds up and still is a good movie. Because I, whenever I watched it the first time, I don't remember hating it or thinking it was bad or anything like that. I thought it was a good movie when I watched it. Um, but I'll probably have to just rewatch it again sometime this year before this sequel comes out. But this one, uh, not necessarily excited about it. I don't know if I'll check it out in theaters. I'll probably at least check it out when it once it hits streaming. But I don't know if I'll check it out in theaters just yet. But as of right now, this one's probably going to have to go into the I guess I'll watch tier. And next up, we got Gladiator 2 that's supposed to be coming out this year. And uh, I guess this is a sequel to the first Gladiator movie. I don't know how this is apparently a sequel. I don't know if they're like continuing the story somehow or what exactly is going to happen in this movie. I don't know exactly what's going to happen in this movie. But uh, it has a pretty well-rounded cast in this movie. So that's pretty, that's a plus, you know, that's a plus. But when it comes to that first Gladiator movie, I remember when that first Gladiator movie came out when I was a young kid. And my mom loves that movie, so we used to watch it a lot. And I honestly got burned out of that movie. I still have not watched it again to this day because I got burned out, burned out of it when I was a young kid, and still haven't had the urge to watch it again. Uh, maybe I'll watch, I'll check the Gladiator first Gladiator movie out again this year in preparation for this second movie. But honestly, I don't see myself going to see this movie. I'll probably check it out at least eventually this year. Maybe when it hits streaming, I'll check it out or something. But honestly, I don't have an urge to really check this one out just because I was burned out on the first Gladiator movie. Um, but we'll see how it is. But this one, this one for me has to go into the not too excited tier. And we got the Lord of the Rings, the War of the Rohirrim. Now, when it comes to Lord of the Rings, I love the original trilogy. I even like the Hobbit movies. So when it comes to this new Lord of the Rings movie, I'm honestly curious and interested and intrigued by it. 
So this one does go into the Intrigue tier. I'm curious what they're going to do with this one. I'm hearing that it's going to be an animated movie or sort of like an anime style movie. Uh, so that's interesting. That's a, I'm curious about that. Um, so we'll see how it goes with this one. I, I'm definitely interested. Um, hearing that's supposed to be taking place like two or 300 years before the original Lord of the Rings trilogy. Uh, so we'll see how this one plays out. And uh, I'll probably check it out. I'm interested in checking it out. And last but not least, we got Sonic the Hedgehog 3. This one's supposed to be coming out, I believe, in December. And I'm sort of a casual Sonic the Hedgehog fan. I mean, I like playing the games. I used to play the games when I was a kid. Um, I think the first two movies are good. I don't really rewatch them or anything. I think I only seen them the one time, really. Um, really, those the thing I like about those movies was Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey was definitely a highlight of those movies. Uh, Sonic uh, in the movies are done pretty well, too. I mean, the movies are good. The movies are good. I just don't tend to rewatch them or anything like that. So when it comes to this one, the Sonic the Hedgehog 3, um, I'll probably watch it. But I don't know if I'll go to theaters to watch it. Maybe when it hits streaming, I'll check it out and see how it goes. But um, here I'm hearing so far that Jim Carrey is not returning in this one. So uh, I don't know. That might be a, a, a minus or something. But when it comes to the movie in general, I'll probably check it out. Just I'm just not sure if I'll check it out in theaters. So when it comes to this one, I'll probably have to go ahead and put it into the I Guess I'll Watch tier. So that is how I will rank some of the 2024 blockbuster movies by excitement. But let me know down in the comments below, how would you rank some of these movies? Which movies are you excited for this year in 2024? But um, I'll check you out in the next video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all all have an awesome day. And I will see y'all in the next one.